If you like the following content, please leave a tip at buymeacoffee forward slash Whitley. Welcome to the Technology Investment Investigations channel, where we dive deep into the world of tech investments, exploring opportunities and analyzing risks. Today, we're taking a close look at Novanix Limited, a key player in the lithium-ion battery market, pivotal for the electric vehicle and energy storage sectors. The lithium-ion battery market is experiencing rapid growth fueled by the surge in electric vehicle adoption and the global push towards renewable energy sources. Nova Nix operates in this bustling market, focusing on developing and supplying high performance materials, equipment and services. The industry's growth trajectory, marked by technological advancements and increasing demand for clean energy solutions, sets a dynamic backdrop for Nova Nix operations. So Novanix Limited is an independent company, it's not a subsidiary of any other corporation. Uh, it's listed on the Australian Securities Exchange um, under the symbol ticker of NVX. Um, it is a trailblazer which was founded in 2013, independently steering through the bustling currents of the battery technology sector. At the helm is a gentleman called Dr. Chris Burns, who uh, appears to be a visionary CEO uh, and the co-founder uh, whose academic journey under Professor Jeff Darn at Dalhousie University catalyzed the inception of Novanix. Dr. Burns, with his deep roots in battery longevity and efficiency research, embodies the driving force behind Novanix's mission to electrify uh, the future of sustainable battery technology. So buckle up as we dive into the electrifying world of Novanix Limited. Uh, as we use SWOT analysis to explore the innovative prowess and strategic maneuvers of this company and the boundless opportunities it harbors for the keen investors. But as always, we will look at the pros and the cons through the SWOT analysis, just in case there are problems in there that might mean you might want to ignore this company. Novanix Limited Financial. It sounds wrong. Novanix Limited. Their financial statistics as of 2024 show a market capitalization of approximately $300 million with an enterprise value of about $270 million. The company did not report a profit margin during this period or, or operating margin indicating challenges in, in achieving profitability at the moment. Total revenue stands at $8 million with significant investments in research and development, likely contributing to the negative operating cash flow that we see of $36 million. These figures suggest Novanix is heavily investing in growth and development with competitive battery sector uh, being um, very expensive at the moment due to hard to gain resources um, and so much competition between all the big corporations. So this is a good thing that they're actually putting their money where their mouth is and they're not just idling by. Okay, so let's bring, begin our SWOT analysis in itself where we look at the strength of the companies, the weakness of the companies, the opportunities of the market towards the companies and the threats of the market to the company. So we start off with the strength of the company um, and in the realm of battery technology, Novanix Limited has carved out a noteworthy position demonstrating strengths and garnering positive attention that could resonate well with investors and industry watchers alike. Their journey, marked by innovation and strategic partnerships, underscores a dynamic and forward-looking approach to the electric vehicle and energy storage sectors. One of the pivotal milestones for Novanix has been its path to profitable anode material production in the US, underscored by the development of first in the world graphitization furnace technology. This innovation has not only showcased Novanix's ability to deliver in-spec product at mass scale, but also hinted at the potential for significant expansion. The company's synthetic graphic grade GX23 met all target specifications, indicating robust product quality and performance. Novanix strategic partnership with Philips 66 for needle coke supply and its collaboration with Tennessee Valley Authority for energy underscores its operational strengths and potential for cost-effective structures aiming at operating margins between 23% and 28%. Very technical stuff, very important for the industry. Another cornerstone 
of Novanix's strategy has been its collaboration with Panasonic Energy, exemplified by a binding offtake agreement for the supply of 10,000 tons of synthetic graphite anode material over four years. It's expected to finish around 2027 2028. This agreement not only secures a steady revenue stream for Novanix but also serves as a testament to the quality and reliability of its products. The deal aligns with the broader industry trends towards sustainability and local supply chain development, further highlighted in the Inflation Reductions Act's incentives. Panasonic Energy's commitment to reduce the carbon footprint of its lithium-ion battery supply chain by 50% by 2031 and the potential benefits under the Section 45X Advanced Manufacturing Production Credit further exemplifies the strategic nature of this partnership. Most of this stuff is very legal, so you really need to go and do the research separately because otherwise we'll be here all day trying to describe what's going on. Anyway, such developments not only bolster Novanix's market position, but also showcases its role in advancing clean energy solutions and the transition towards electric mobility, with a focus on high performance materials, innovative production methods and strategic partnerships. Novanix is navigating the complexities of the global battery market with a clear vision towards sustainability and efficiency. These strengths and the positive developments underscore Novanix's potential as a significant player in the battery technology sector poised for growth in rapidly evolving market. So as always we have the negatives. And Novanix Limited, despite its ambitions in the battery technology sector, faces several challenges and certainties that may raise concerns amongst investors and industry watchers such as ourselves. The journey of the company, while marked by notable attempts at innovation and strategic partnerships, also reveals potential vulnerabilities and hurdles in its path towards securing a robust position in the electric vehicle and energy storage markets. A critical area of concern for Novanix is the technological and operational challenges associated with scaling up its anode material production in the US. The development of the first in the world graphitization furnace technology, while innovative, produces risks related to scalability, reliability and cost effectiveness. The achievement of producing in-spec product at mass scale is commendable, but the production's future expansion plans hinge on overcoming significant technical and market barriers. The dependency on strategic partnerships, as mentioned before, such as the supply agreement with Philip 66 for needle coke and the collaboration with the Tennessee Valley Authority for Energy, may also expose Novanix to supply chain vulnerabilities going forward and fluctuations in input costs. Furthermore, the binding offtake agreement with Panasonic Energy, though presenting as an opportunity for steady revenue, carries its own risks. Relying heavily on a single or limited number of customers for a substantial portion of its revenue can be precarious, especially in the rapidly evolving battery market where technological advancements and shifts in consumer preferences can quickly alter the competitive landscape. The agreement, while securing a supply chain for Novanix's synthetic grade anode material, may limit the company's flexibility and bargaining power in the face of market challenges and technological disruptions. Think about it. It only takes Elon Musk five seconds to turn everything around and the companies like this can basically hit the wall very quickly. But additionally, strategic direction and operational execution of Novanix raise questions about its long-term sustainability and probability. The ambitious targets for operating margins between 23% and 28% highlight the pressure on the company to maintain high levels of operational efficiency and product quality in a highly competitive market. The potential benefits under the Inflation Reductions Act and the focus on reducing carbon footprint of, of lithium-ion battery supply chains, though aligned with broader industry trends, underscore the regulatory and environmental challenges that Novanix must navigate if it is to sustain its growth and fulfil its commitments. These challenges and uncertainties underscore the complexities of Novanix's strategic and execution in the battery technology sector. While the company is striving to position itself as a clear player in the transition towards electric mobility and clean energy solutions, its path, 
with potential electric mobility and cleaner solutions, its path is fraught with potential obstacles that could impact its growth trajectory and market position. So investors and industry watchers should thus approach Novinix with caution, keeping an eye on its ability to overcome these hurdles and realize its ambitions in a competitive and fast evolving battery market. So in order to understand Novinix's position, obviously we need now to look at the wider um, battery technology and energy storage market. So when it comes to the opportunities and markets in the realm of battery technology and energy storage, there's a palpable self sense of optimism and innovation, particularly within the solid state battery sector. This area of technology, which represents a significant leap forward from traditional lithium ion and lead acid batteries, is witnessing a series of groundbreaking developments that could revolutionize how we store and use energy across various applications, from electrical vehicles to renewable energy systems. Solid state batteries characterized by the use of the solid electrolytes as opposed to a liquid electrolyte found in conventional batteries are at the forefront of this transformation. Despite the initial challenges in manufacturing cost, solid state batteries are becoming increasingly viable thanks to advancements in energy density and notable decrease in the production costs. For instance, the cost of trajectory for lithium ion batteries, a precursor in the solid state uh, battery technology has seen a remarkable decline, falling between 89% um, and 90% between the years 20, 2008 sorry, and 2022. This is a trend that is promising as an indicator for the solid state battery industry, which is expected to benefit from similar advancements potentially reducing production costs to as low as $60 US dollars per unit. The appeal of solid state battery lies only in their cost effectiveness but also in the superior performance characteristics. These batteries promise a dramatic improvement in energy density which translates to a longer battery life and by extension longer ranges for electric vehicles. Moreover they are less reliant on rare earth and toxic chemicals making them a more environmentally friendly option than what we have at present. The potential for faster charging times and enhanced safety due to the solid electrolytes resistance to leakage and combustion further underscores their transformative potential. The industry is witnessing a surge in investment and research, with companies like Prologium planning to set up factories in strategic locations around the world. The collaboration between various stakeholders including material suppliers like POSCO and innovative, innovative startups like Iron Story Systems and Factual Energy highlights a concerted effort to overcome the technological and logistical challenges associated with solid state batteries. These collaborations are crucial in accelerating the development of solid state technology and integrating it into mainstream applications, especially for electric vehicles. Moreover, the exploration of novel materials and manufacturing techniques is paving the way for more sustainable and energy efficient storage solutions. For instance, researchers are developing batteries that employ haemoglobin, that's right, haemoglobin from blood, to facilitate energy storage, and among others are using materials like xanthium gum and soap inspired electrolytes to enhance battery performance and safety. Such innovations not only improve the functionality of batteries but also contribute to the sustainability of the technology by utilising biodegradable and less harmful materials. So if you really want more information on that, let's just go to Google Scholar, put in that, those terms, and you'll have a, a whole plethora of, of papers coming up describing some of these technologies that are in the works. But in conclusion, on the optimism of the, of the actual market itself, the solid state battery industry is on the cusp of a major breakthrough, driven by technological advancements, decreasing costs, and a growing commitment to sustainability. As these batteries become more and more accessible and integrated in various sectors, they hold the promise of powering a cleaner and more efficient sustainability for the future of our people. So as much optimism as there is in, in the market, when it comes to negative, it gets a little bit more 
down to earth and a bit more primitive. So if we look at the manufacturing capacity and the geographic concentration of um, battery production around the world, as of 2022, uh, China of course dominates the global lithium ion uh, battery marketing capacity with about 80% which is roughly uh, 558 gigawatts um, hour capacity uh, uh, based of watts um, concentration uh, followed distantly by the United States at 6% which is 44 gigawatt hours um, it's a huge disparity of about a factor of 10 basically um, and European countries are only just ahead of that, 68 gigawatt hours um, of installed capacity. This geographic concentration poses risks related to supply chain disruptions, uh, political tensions and market monopolization. Although global manufacturing capacity is expected to more than double by 2025, China is still expected to lead. This rapid expansion requires immense resources and investment, potentially exacerbating regional disparities and dependencies in order to turn that around and balance things out a little bit more across the world. Quality control of manufacturing of lithium ion batteries. This involves a complex process requiring rigorous quality control and monitoring at every stage, uh, from the raw materials to the cell assembly. Each component of the battery such as the anode, the cathode, and electrolytes must be produced with precise chemical compositions and structural integrity to ensure performance and safety. Deviations and impurities can significantly affect battery performance, making quality control both critical and challenging. The need for continuous innovation in battery materials and design adds further complexity to material consistent quality standards. In other words, any cheap knockoffs are very potentially hazardous to whoever's using them. I mean, what can I say? You, you've seen footage on YouTube of cars on fire because the batteries blew up. That's the current generation. So once this market expands and explodes, the cheap stuff is going to cause serious problems uh, to the health and safety of road users, essentially. Uh, and that's before we start taking into general storage capacity for towns, cities, houses, however you go on. So it's going to be interesting seeing how that plays out. Uh, comprehensive analysis and testing are essential for optimizing the battery performance and safety. Uh, this includes some, some quite um, technical aspects such as mass spectro uh, spectrometry, x-ray, photoelectron spectrometry, electron microscopy, and various spectroscopic and tomographic techniques. These methods are vital for understanding the physical, the chemical and the structural properties of battery components. Yes, true, very detailed stuff. However, the requirements for such sophisticated and diverse analytical techniques indicates the complexity and high cost associated with battery development and quality assurance. How this is done is probably going to be on the factory line. I can't imagine we'll be doing this during MOTs or whatever version of an MOT is in your country. The bigger problem though, and it, obviously environmentalists never take this in the conclusion, is the recycling and the waste management. The increasing deployment of lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles and stationary storage poses significant waste management challenges at the end of their life. And most owners are going to end up having to deal with the costs of that, or councils are going to have to deal with the cost of abandoned batteries but we'd like to see recycling. So recycled batteries is obviously a complex and costly, yet crucial for recovering the valuable materials and reducing the overall, overall environmental impact. The process involves handling hazardous materials and requires advanced technology to efficiently recover elements like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. The industry faces dual challenge of scaling recycling capacities while ensuring economic availability and environmental sustainability. I think this is somewhere we're going to start seeing some quite big political fallouts over this. Uh, it's it, not just the actual waste management, it's actually the getting the electricity and the battery in the first place. Um, energy production is difficult at best and we'd like it to be renewable, but I suspect in order to kind of scale up to have electric vehicles everywhere, it's going to evolve lots of nuclear power stations everywhere. 
So there's a knock-on effect. It's not just a case of your car is nice and clean and environmentally friendly. Everything that goes around it, from its production to uh, actually keeping the energy in the vehicle, is really going to have some interesting effects. Uh, I, can, I can genuinely see at this point it's all going back to horses in order to move stuff around. But that's just me. Uh, as we look, the challenges uh, underscore the importance of advanced battery technology improving, manufacturing processes and developing robust recycling systems. Addressing these issues is going to be critical for sustaining the growth of the electrical vehicle market and the broader transition to renewable energy sources. Whilst also mitigating environmental impacts and ensuring resource security. It's going to be dif difficult to get to this. This is a huge jump into a new world essentially uh, but we've done it before and hopefully it'll work this time as an amateur investor considering an investment in Novanix Limited a company deeply entrenched in the burgeoning lithium-ion battery market it's crucial to weigh the opportunities and the challenges that lie ahead Novanix with its focus on high precision battery testing equipment and advanced materials for battery manufacturing stands at a pivotal point in an industry that is central to the global shift towards renewable energy and electric mobility. The growing demand for electric vehicles, renewable energy storage solutions and the global emphasis on reducing carbon emissions presents a significant opportunity for Novanix. The company's innovative approach to battery technology and strategic partnerships position it to capitalize on the expanding battery market, which is expected to witness substantial growth over the coming years. Moreover, Novanix's commitment to improving battery performance and longevity through its high precision testing technologies and the development of, of advanced battery materials aligns with the industry's needs for more efficient, durable and safer batteries. However, potential investors must also consider the challenges facing the lithium ion battery industry, including the intense competition, the supply chain vulnerabilities and the pressing need for sustainable battery recycling solutions. The market's rapid expansion, driven by the global transition to clean energy, has intensified the demand for critical raw materials, raising concerns about supply security and environmental sustainability. Additionally, the geographic concentration of battery manufacturing capacity, predominantly in China, presents geopolitical and supply chain risks that could impact companies like, like Novanix. <clears throat> Investing in Novanix Limited offers a unique opportunity to partake in the clean energy revolution. The potential for significant returns the demand for advanced battery technology escalates. Nevertheless, it's imperative for investors to conduct thorough due diligence considering the company's strategic position the inherent industry risks and the global economic and political landscape influencing the battery market's future. In short, in conclusion, while Novanix Limited presents an attractive investment proposition with a critical and growing sector, the decision to invest should be made by a comprehensive understanding of both the opportunities and the challenges that lie ahead, balancing the potential for growth against the risks that will be key to making an informed investment decision in a dynamic and involving battery industry. It's your money, it's your investments, do your due diligence. So thank you for joining me on this deep dive into Novanix Limited. As the world shifts towards clean energy solutions, companies like Novanix will play a key role in shaping our sustainable future. I encourage all my viewers to conduct thorough research and consider the broader market dynamics before making any investment decisions. So if you like this episode, obviously subscribe, please like and hit the notification bell for future episodes. Stay tuned for more insightful episodes on technology investment investigations as I find another company that you won't have heard of in order for you to consider investing in it. Ta-ta for now.